in this spotlight my Lion King Panini album from 1994-1995. I'm opening it, opening it very careful. In my memory, my collection started with this in 1994. Every week I would get my allowance of only 495 Dutch guilders at the time. And after I had seen the movie, I decided to get myself a sticker album. It proved to be a very addictive hobby. Week after week I would hop onto my bicycle and go to this little cigar shop in the neighborhood to buy myself as much packets of stickers as my budget would allow me to. I remember racing back home, climbing two stairs as quick as my feet could carry me, throwing myself onto the bed and then opening up the packets, my heart racing, keeping my fingers crossed that most of them would be new ones that I didn't already have. And of course, after sorting them, placing them carefully into the album, because you only had one chance to do it right. Because I had little money to spend, I didn't have enough time to collect all the stickers for my album. As you may remember, Pocahontas followed The Lion King quite quickly, so stores made room for Pocahontas merchandise and sacrificed some Lion King merchandise in the process. Luckily, my friend slash classmate and her siblings also had Lion King Panini albums that they were done with and gave them to me so I could cut out the stickers that were missing in mine. So my album got its happily ever after, after all. Such fun memories. I bet every 90s kid remembers having one. Perhaps not a Lion King album, but a Panini album. As you can see, happy ending. Thanks for watching and speak to you soon.